Welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print on demand designs that sell and be sure to stay tuned till the end of the video because I have another five bonus niches for you. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this listing right here. This is a personalized tote bag. And what we're looking at is specifically birth flowers. So birth flowers are big on Etsy. There are actually two flowers for every month. I just selected one um, for these examples, but um, this would be a carnation. So that is the birth flower for January. So in, this would be personalized with the person's name, you know, whoever the name is. And then of course the birth flower. Um, I do have 12 of these listings so, um, put up separately so that I could specifically put like carnation and January birthday in the listing and then like violet and you know February birthday in the listing. You could also do it as just one listing where they specify what birth flower they want and then the name that they want. But you do have to then give an example of what the flower looks like because they are going to want to see you know, not just is it a violet, but what does the violet look like? So for me, it was just easier to do it one bag at a time. That way they could actually see what the flower looked like on the bag. Um, and so this was my main picture. Obviously it says personalized. I did create a couple more of my own thumbnails um, separate from the ones that are given. Um, I used a bag from Printful, I'm gonna show you that, but these would be thumbnails that I created for this. And so you can just see the bag there. This is a, one of the thumbnails that came specifically from Printful, so just kind of boring. And then I have it in the other color too, just in case they want it in that color. I don't think it looks as good. I have my review card and then I have my branding card. I also do have a little bit of a changed title. They Etsy kind of redid their policy on titles. And so I haven't changed all of my listings yet, but I have experimented with a few to see whether or not it's going to actually make a difference. So for this one, I kept it really simple. It was personalized January birth flower carnation cotton tote bag. So pretty straightforward. They can pick what color they want and they add their personalization here. So that is where they're gonna have to put what the name is. And so if I put add personalization, enter the name you want printed on the bag, message me with custom requests as if maybe they want a different flower um, since there are two flowers for every month. Um, and so that's what I'm going to show you how to do really quick and simple. I'm going to jump over to Canva and we're actually going to use Canva's AI for this. So if I go over to Canva's homepage right here and I go to custom size, I'm just going to do what I usually do, which is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. Those are not the exact size um, specifications for the tote bag, but I usually do design for that because it just makes it more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? more flexible so I can put it on more, you know, items. So I can reuse it on a lot of different items and just sort of size it to fit the item that I want. So for this, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go with a black background here. And we're just going to start by using um, Canvas AI. So I'm going to go over to the left hand side where we see ele uh, elements. And we're going to scroll down to where it says AI image generator, and we're going to put create your own. Now, whenever we use this, obviously it's gonna come up with different images for everybody, even if we put in the exact same prompt. And you may have to try several times to get kind of the picture that you want. And so it does take a little bit of playing around. Sometimes you get lucky and get it on the first try, but sometimes I do have to try several times to get kind of what I want. So if I was to put something like maybe three, cause I wanna be specific and not just get one, three watercolor style, oops, carnation carnations on a solid background and i actually went ahead and put carnations with leaves i tried to be specific because i did this a few times and it would give me one flower and i kind of wanted a few um, but if i put a few i might have gotten like 10 and then if I didn't put with leaves, sometimes it just gave the flowers, but I really do kind of want them to be on the stem so I could also put with stem. And I did want the solid background because I do want to do the background remover. So I'm not looking for something that's more of a scene. I want to be able to do a background remover. So let's go ahead, generate this, see what it comes up with. Um, if you can be you know, specific with your AI titles, it's usually more helpful, but you kind of see what it comes up with and then you can kind of alter from there. So this actually, did pretty well. It gave me a bunch of 
three carnations on the stems with the leaves with a solid background and so any one of these would actually work really well um usually i don't get good um options right away but these all look like good options so let's say i took this one i did a background remover and we just kind of take a look at what it kind of looks like boom and i actually like that that looks pretty cool so if i did something like that you can see it's nice it's big um, it's gonna pop regardless what color i put it on i might want to make it maybe a little smaller because i do want to have room for the name but this actually worked out really well that was pretty easy and straightforward so now i need to put a name so i'm going to pull up a text box now your name is just going to be any name that you want so it's just an example that you're going to put obviously on your mock-ups but then when you get the order you're going to put in whatever name the person gives you so you do want to think of a name that is going to be kind of medium in length you don't want anything too short and you don't want anything too long because you want your mock-up to obviously look as ideal as possible and so these will usually look best when the names are kind of you know mid-range not too long not too short but obviously you're going to get whatever you're going to get when somebody orders it i went ahead and in the example i showed you use sophia um that was a good middle name sophia and i'm going to go ahead bring this down here so i put it kind of under the flower oops and stretched it out so it was nice and big. And then we do gotta choose a font. Now you can choose any font you want. I mean, there really is no right or wrong. I've seen this done in all lower cases. I've seen it done in all upper cases. I've seen it done in just like your regular, you know, corporate style fonts. I've also seen it done scripty. I did it in more of a scripty font, but again, you can do it however you want. So you can play with all of those. I went ahead and just did one of the first ones that I have, which is Apricotsy. Um, I like it. It's scripty, it's girlish, but it's easy to read and it's bold. So I could go ahead and do that. And I did a little bit of an overlap there too. So something like that looked pretty cool. Now I can do it in white or I can try to match the colors of the flowers, which is what I actually did kind of do in my example. Um, so if I was doing that, I might go ahead and change the color to one of the carnation colors. So whether it's like that pink color there, that might look good. And then I did throw a little shadow on it too, just so that it would pop if they wanted to get it on that oyster tote bag, because I do know that one is a little bit, um, it's a little bit lighter, so you need it to pop. So I went with maybe one of the darker colors for the shadow there. Lose the transparency drop that offset way down so maybe it's eh, maybe a little bit more than that maybe like 14 something like that so that looks cool on black and then of course if we were to change this to that sort of oyster color we can kind of see if i put it in like a sort of light shade like that sort of how it would look um and so that looks really nice and so that's easy so if somebody was to buy this then all i would have to do would be to come to my template. So this is my template. I would go ahead and duplicate it. So I would come up here to duplicate. That way I don't touch the original. And now on my duplicate copy, I'm going to put in the example name. So let's say the example name was, I don't know, Linda. <laughs> so I would put Linda there. Um, if I needed to change the size of it to make it fit, because maybe it's a shorter name or just the way that it looks, I can play with it there um, to try to make it look nice. But whatever I choose, once I've got it, I would go ahead and download this, and then I would be changing the print file on the order to customize the order. Now, I do want to go ahead and show you how to actually make the tote bag here, too. So I'm going to go ahead, title this uh, Sophia Carnation. Doesn't matter. I will go ahead. We'll hit share. We're going to download. It's a PNG. I want it to be a transparent background. We're just going to do page one. I'm going to hit done and we're going to download it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to Printful, which is where I use the tote bags for this. Now, you don't have to use Printful. Um, almost every print on demand company does have tote bags. So there's a variety of different sizes of tote bags, qualities of tote bags, prices of tote bags. Um, I use the Eco one from Printful, but PrintKK has cheaper options, but they're going to have longer shipping. And then 
Printify has um, some different options too, from cheaper to more expensive. It just kind of depends on what you're going for. But now that I've got this, I'm gonna jump over to Printful and I'm on the product cat uh, catalog. And we can go ahead and we can go to accessories, bags and tote bags and I can click that. And it's this first one right here, Eco Tote Bag, right? So this one uh, for Printful Growth is gonna be 1364, regular is 1556. So it's a good sort of mid range. It's not the cheapest one, but it's not the most expensive one. They also have the all over print ones. They've got like the bigger weekend bags. They have a clear one in here now. I haven't looked at that yet. Here's the large Eco Tote Bag. So just the different sizes. They now have denim ones all over print ones with pockets. So again, you can kind of pick whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and start with just the simple basic eco tote bag and we can do it in both colors, doesn't really matter. But let's go ahead, I'll put create product template. So it's gonna pull this up and I can upload my design. So here, what I'm gonna do is hit upload. It's gonna pull up my downloads. I'm gonna pick that and it's gonna go ahead and upload this for me. Okay. So once you've got it uploaded, we can just go ahead and click apply. It's going to apply that to our bag. And so you can see what it looks like there. And it goes, does go top to bottom, but you can always resize these bigger or smaller. So if I wanted it to be, let's say, smaller on the bag, I could certainly do that and make it like small at the top of the bag. I wouldn't want to do that. But point is, is that you can take your designs and, and resize them. So the dimensions don't always need to be perfect. Sure, this could have been wider, but I'm not really gonna do flowers wider than that anyways. So this actually looks pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that. I had got it. Um, I'm gonna go back to products. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the oyster tote bag too. And I can look down here to see what that's gonna look like. And so if those both look pretty good to me, I can go ahead and hit save to templates. So I usually save it to templates first. Give it a second and it's going to go over to your product templates here. So now if you wanted to, you could go ahead and add to store. And so you would just go ahead and then publish it to your store that way. I can also download mockups, which is what I did to create my custom mockups. By the way, I went ahead, I went to download mockup, basic mockups, and I went ahead and I downloaded this one right here of the woman holding the bag. And then I did the hanger bag. And so I downloaded both of those and that's what I uploaded to Canva to create my custom mockups. And so I can show you that real quick too, if I jump right back over to my Canva homepage. Okay, so this was my first mockup and all I did was take the mockup from Printful and I put it in front of a background. So let me just duplicate this real quick so I can take it apart so you can see. I took the tote bag and I stuck it right on. And before that I had another tote bag that I had done and I did the same thing. I just sort of stuck it back on. So what I did is I just sort of found a backdrop from the elements section in the pictures. I, I think I put maybe counter backdrop or, or mock-up or wall mock-up. I don't know. I looked for a few things, found the mock-up that I liked. And then I just put that tote bag right in the middle of it, added a little bit of a drop shadow to it. And then I added in my logo here. I added in just a little rectangle and a little box here that said personalized. And that's how I kind of created the, the tote bag logo that you see here. And I've done it with different colors too. Um, I also went ahead and did it two other ways. So here was another one that I did. For this one, I just got a plain wall background. So the wood slots that you see right here, that was just wood wall. I added in the picture frame, the corner of the picture frame there, and I even added in a picture there. So that's how I got that little picture frame in the corner. And then I added in the plant here to the side. And then I just put the hanging bag there. So that's how I created this backdrop. And then I added a little drop shadow on that too. So that's another you know, mock-up that I made just using the basic mock-ups that come from Printful, but making them a little bit more Etsy friendly because the Printful mock-ups aren't very good. And then I did one more using that girl that I downloaded. And so here's the one that had the girl holding the bag. I really didn't like Printful's version of that. So I went ahead and I took her, I blew her up so that you don't see all of her. So you just see a girl holding the bag. I added in sort of that brick wall background. I did the photo background again. So I put the photo frame and the photo there and then I added in the plants. And so again, I made another mock-up. So when you go to my listing, what you see is those three mock-ups um, that I created myself using the mock-ups that I already got from Printful. And so that was a pretty easy way to do it. Um, and I got, you know, because it's the exact mock-up, I'm actually getting the exact 
you know, shape and tote bag that I want in the exact placement. Sometimes if you buy some of the pre-made mock-ups for tote bags or use pre-made mock-ups, if it's not the same tote bag, the cut will be different, the color could be different, uh, the size could be different. So I always do try to reflect what I'm selling as accurately as possible. So, you know, if I find a mock-up that's of the exact same tote bag, that's great. Otherwise, I can go ahead and use the mock-ups that already exist and just sort of make them better. So anyways, I hope you guys found this useful. If you have questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. Again, with Etsy, anything that you can personalize is always good. And it's always good to think outside the box and not just do t-shirts. T-shirts are, by the way, still my number one seller. So I'm not bashing on t-shirts in any way, shape or form, but I do like to experiment with different products to see kind of what's working, what's not working and to try out different things. And so, um, just don't be afraid to experiment a little bit. If you have video requests, you can throw those in the comments section below. I do try to get everybody added to my list if possible. Um, if you're brand new to print on demand, I do have a print on demand beginners course. I sell it on Etsy for like 20 bucks. I wanted to make sure it was affordable for anybody who wanted it. Um, so that is in the description below the video. I'll also go ahead and, um, tag it on, on the comment section. If you want to check that out. And then because you guys were so patient and you did wait until the end of the video, I have another five bonus niches for you. So without any more waiting, these are your five bonus niches and I've decided to go ahead and do more Christmas niches. So for the next four videos, I am going to be sharing Christmas niches with you guys so you can get those things up right away and nice and early. So niche number one, most likely to ask Santa to define good. And now this is a niche that can be scaled out tremendously because I've seen a lot of these shirts that say most likely to, and then blank, most likely to eat all the cookies, most likely to drink all the wine, most likely to shake the gifts, most likely to bring the Christmas joy, most likely to sing Christmas carols. So you can go ahead and scale that out tremendously and then market it as like group shirts where maybe everybody in the family has their own shirt that says most likely to blank. And so different ways that you can scale that out. Um, and you can also do it as custom. You can literally put up a shirt that says most likely to blank and have the customer go ahead and fill that in. So just some thoughts there. Number two on the naughty list, and I regret nothing, right? That's just a nice, funny one. Number three, let's get lit. Now I've seen that with like Christmas trees with the Christmas lights on them, obviously, but anything that you would light up would work well. Number four, ho, ho, hold my beer. Another funny one. And then number five, dear Santa, just bring wine. And again, um, never get tired of the wine stuff. That always sells good. So Anyways, I hope you guys are doing really well. I hope you're continuing to grow your skills, expand your portfolio. I hope you guys are ready for season four, or season four, uh, ready for quarter four. And I do hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative. And we'll see you next time.